Good day, everyone. Ali is here from Safi Financial Network. Today is December 23rd, 2022. Merry Christmas, everyone, and wish you uh, have a nice time with your family and with your loved ones. Uh, here is a crude brand uh, chart. Um, the reason that I'm just uh, giving you the crude analysis is, uh, in my opinion, crude is signaling a very, very bullish um, bullish year for 2023. I know that everyone is saying probably we will have recession or um, uh, the war in um, Russia and Ukraine is getting settled somehow and uh, there are lots of uh, dynamics or measures in, in the OPEC that they try to bring the uh, price down as they succeed uh, somehow. But seems like Again, uh, with my analysis, or I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but uh, I think I'm right, uh, we will have very, very bullish year for crude oil as well. And probably that's going to be multi-year top for the crude in uh, somewhere around um, June 2023 until September 2023, which is kind of like in middle of... Um, um, summertime, or I should say summertime, we should see multi-year top in crude. And that's going to be somewhere around, uh, for Brent, somewhere around 140 to 160. So let's say 150. But I'm not going to say the price now, just because I don't know. I cannot uh, forecast or predict something. But I know, uh, based on my analysis, because as I have done tons of work to it, I want to show you some very, very simple tricks uh, today in this uh, analysis video as well. But I will let you know, crude is signaling very, very sharp uh, uh, spike to the upside. Probably that's going to be multi-year top, something like this, something like this. And that's going to be epic. And after that, you should see a reversal happening, very, very sharp reversal happening to the downside. But again, um, we are not forecasting or predicting. We just want to be uh, at the right side of the trade. And we just want to take our profit. As a trader, we don't care market is going up or down. We just uh, want to be at the right side of the trend. That's it. Um, okay, so here is the monthly chart for the Brent. As you see here, uh, Brent had like a very, very nice spike to the upside, 140 months of February. And after that, uh, try to catch up a bit more, but in months of uh, June has uh, like a second top and then after that coming all the way down to here. But right now we are at the top of the market again in 2018. And this is very, very important level just because the monthly chart giving you signal we call it the scene of crime. The scene of crime is you have like a nice... Um, double top coming back and then sharp sell off, uh, sharp sorry, spike to the upside. And this means we are at the scene of crime. So there are lots of orders there, especially in monthly chart. And this is institutional level. As you see here, we had this before, sharp sell off is coming back. This is a top here to this uh, demand uh, supply area. And then here is another reaction to the supply area making by another demand. So that's why we had very, very nice tail um, in the month of December, and I think it's going to continue more months of January, February, especially April, March. It's going to be very, very bullish for for the crude uh, WTI and Brent as well. So in this video, I just give you a Brent, but it's going to be the same symmetry with WTI as well. So if you go to momentum wise, you see we are at the 50% still. We are in a bullish momentum. It's kind of like a corrective move to the downside. But look at that. Stochastic momentum index for the first time after COVID crash. So this is April 2020, which COVID crash happened. And uh, you know what happened to the May contract for WTI, which bring the crude oil down all the way to here. So it was uh, for WTI, it goes to the negative. So that's why just uh, kind of like uh, mess around with my chart. So that's why I'm coming with Brent. Uh, for Brent, we had like a fourteen dollar or so, right? So this is uh, this is the level for the bottom, and this is the top for two thousand twenty-two. So for the first time since two thousand twenty, 
we got oversold condition in monthly chart and seems like reversal is happening. So if next month, which is January, if we get a green bar, especially if we close above SMA 20 in monthly chart, which is around $90. So right now we are at $84. If we are getting above $90 and uh, brand close, closes above uh, 90, uh, $90, that's going to be very, very bullish indication to the upside. Also, we are at a very, very strong uh, supportive area right here. And here, as I said, this is a scene of crime as well. And another thing that I want to just uh, give you uh, a tip here. So if you use your Fibonacci tool, which everyone needs to use that one as well, here's the top and here's the bottom. So where are we at? 50% nice reaction. And this is SMA 200 for the monthly chart as well. So again, as I'm saying, there are lots of odds for at least a decent bounce for the crude. So if crude Brent closed above uh, $90, that's going to be crazy reversal to the upside. I think it's going to go all the way up to test this double top. But again, my ultimate target would be 148, which is a double top to 2008, or even it can stretch to the upside, stretches to, um, to kind of like a 157 or so, to 160. Um, this is a very, very crazy um, analysis in a bull side. But again, um, from whatever perspective I'm coming to this analysis, I'm not reading this chart as a, like a bearish steal. I'm just looking for another upside move and uh, probably another higher high. So another analysis that you want to take care of is Elliott Fair. If you just count it as a wave one, two, uh, sorry, this is a wave one, two, three, four, and then five is going up there. So probably say this is one, two, yeah, this is two, three, and this is five, right? So this is fifth wave out of wave one, two, three, and then four, right? So the fifth one, five is coming very, very nicely in the first half of 2023. So this is the monthly chart, moving on to the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart. Again, weekly chart gives me very, very nice oversold condition to the upside. So this is the stochastic momentum signal to this nice pivotal area. Look at that. So this is a great, great pivotal area for more for the crude. And also we are taking a clean this pivotal point. So probably this is just a divergence, which is a divergence. Look at the MACD is sloping up. This one is coming down. So this is absolute nice divergence and we are cleaning this pivotal point to the upside. So if we get above 86 in weekly chart and close above 86, which is kind of next two weeks, just have a look. If we get close above 86, so that's going to be bullish indication to the upside, probably 91. And 91 is going to be this decisive moment for the crew just because it hits this, this trend line probably in the next two, three weeks. And even if it breaks above this, and take out this pivot high, that's gonna go all the way up to this area. So for the weekly chart, again, we are going level by level, but for the monthly chart, as I said, I'm very bullish. And this is a nice uh, demand area prior to this parabolic move to the upside. And we just back test here and look what happened. So this is exactly demand area definition. So we just had two, double test piercing and a nice reversal to the upside. So this is exactly what we want to see from demand area if it is strong demand area. This demand area is fresh, never tested before. So this is perfect example of the demand area, right? So going to the daily chart, oh, sorry, my chart is not that good. Let me just clean up this, right? 
So we are at a very, very nice uh, reversed head and shoulder to the upside, as you see here. So we clean out this level. So let me show you. We clean out this level to the upside just today. And yesterday, back test to the upside, clean out this pivotal point, which is another bullish sign. And the next resistance area is going to be here, right there. So around 88 to 90 dollar, which is going to have like a four dollar to five dollar above this. So probably next week we get there, and probably the stallout happening just for the sake of the resistance. And this is. Very, very important level just because this is a kind of like a pivotal point uh, to the upside and a very, very important again for crude, uh, for Brent as well. So if we get there, probably that's going to be um, a good resistance area if you want. We are long there, by the way. So as you know, I'm long and I have uh, for WTI actually, as I said, this is going to be the same symmetry. But uh, this is very, very nice price action, to be honest. I love this bullish, bullish, triple bullish to the upside. And here is another one which is coming along to this area. So if you want to just uh, take these two tops there, so it's coming to this area as well. But again, I'm just uh, using the trend line for, for, the, e, uh, for the ease of reading the chart. Um, if you want, if you don't want to use the trend line, just go with the price action. Again, this area would be very, very important. So 88 to 90 for the brand is going to be a very, very important area. As I, as I said, decisive area. And probably if you see a bullish consolidation, it's going to break out to the upside as well. So make sure just keep an eye on this. Uh, there are lots of good uh, um, energy stocks there as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. So. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and uh, and have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.